All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So, Monday smartphone news. Yes, I do the return. As you all know, I uh, stated a few weeks back I was on vacation, so there wouldn't be Monday smartphone news or a Tuesday podcast for the previous week, but I am back on. So, Monday smartphone news. Wow, there, there have been so many. I just took a week off uh, from YouTube and went on vacation, and so many things have happened since I, since in my absence. Um, you know, the Moto Z2 Force was announced for. T-Mobile, uh, and it's on pre-order right now. Um, the uh, people hate the price. I don't like the price. Seven ninety nine for the Moto Z Force uh, Z Two Force. Um, I wasn't gonna start with that, but I'll start with that. The Moto Z Two Force. I posted on Twitter and I said, you know, hey, the Moto Z Two Play is a better purchase than the Moto Z Two Force. The Moto Z Two Force has a huge disadvantage for a couple of them, as far as I see it right now. First of all, it's the price tag, and this is just my opinion. The price tag is 800 bucks, and it's not offering, you know, you're pretty much getting some really good hardware and uh, really good cameras. But after that, you know, and again, not my requirements, but the standards for today are waterproofing, wireless charging, things like that. And, uh, you know, Motorola released this phone for 800 bucks, and, you know, it, it, it's just so many things I could talk about. First of all, the shatter shield technology. If you have the other Moto Z Force, you already know that that phone is going to scratch easy. They've got those nine layers on there, or however many layers they put on there. I think it's nine to keep it from cracking. And um, it's a good idea, bad execution, just like it was last year. Um, you know, the Force gets banged up really easy. And while it doesn't break, I, d I would rather not have a scratched up screen uh, and pay half the cost and have a glass screen. Uh, and that is why I said, in my personal opinion, that the Moto Z2 Force is not the better purchase of, of you know before the Moto Z2 Play. The Moto Z2 Play and the Moto Z Force got smaller batteries. Not that that matters, but it matters to some people. It doesn't matter to me because optimization is key. So, you know, Motorola... You know they release these phones. They're and now all of their phones are pretty much looking the same, uh, and so there's really not like what's the purpose of buying the Moto Z Force, Z2 Force over the Moto Z2 Play? You get a 2K screen, 2K display. You get a, a non-breakable display. After that, you pretty much you know you get the 835. You're not getting something that's going to be substantially worth that $400 in my opinion. The, the Z2 Play has the 626, which you know is going to perform just like the 625. And then it's also got a glass screen, which won't scratch as easy. And it's got the same hardware. You know, cameras are subjective. You know, one might think one is better than the other. Battery life is probably going to be decent on both. They both have modal mods. They both look the same. So, you know, it's just a matter of do you want to spend 800 bucks on the Moto Z2 Force? Uh, and have your phone scratch after putting it in your pocket, uh, or do you want to just get the Moto Z2 Play, save a ton of money, and uh, still have a phone that performs just as well, probably if not better on battery. I don't know. Wasn't going to start with, with that, but let's get to what I was actually going to talk about, which is the Galaxy Note. The Galaxy Note uh, documents have officially leaked online. Um, this is an email. I don't see the date anymore. Uh, well, some of the documents from Samsung have leaked online, and unfortunately, this is what happens when you uh, <laughs> when you have you know people out there that are willing to leak that information for the right amount of money, I guess, or just leak it out there. Period. And the model numbers are it's uh, the N nine five U U one X U and W. So nine five zero nine fifty W nine fifty X U nine fifty U one and nine fifty U. Those are the models that I see right here on this list. So uh, this is going to be a good thing, you know. I mean, at least we know that Samsung uh, is doing the actual um, testing for the device, and you know, it's going to actually release. Another thing that's leaked out is some of Samsung's camera uh, f samples, supposedly from the Galaxy Note 8. Uh, remember to check the link in the description. You can see where I'm getting this information from. Uh, so, you know, the Note 8 is is something that, you know, I think people are excited about. Uh, and I, for one, am excited about it. But without, you know, the excitement isn't as much as what I wanted it, to, I think it's going to be for me. Because, you know, pretty much after owning the S8 Plus, you know, I don't know that I'm going to be that excited about the Note. 
the the one thing that does excite me about the Note is the S Pen. You know, because why buy a Note if you're not going to use the S Pen? I mean, you literally can work on that bad boy. So uh, that's going to be a good thing. So the Note 8 is coming really, really fast, and I suggest you get in line for it. Uh, so next is the Nokia 8. Now, the Nokia 8, we have all these 8s. Uh, the great eights. Uh, Nokia 8 is a phone that I'm actually interested in. Um, the specs on the Nokia 8 are very intriguing. It's something different from Nokia. It's where they should have gone a long time ago to get back in the game, but you know they got to go at their own pace. So I respect that. But the Nokia 8 uh, is going to be really appealing. I think it's going to have like a 5.3 inch display, Quad HD, Snapdragon 835 dual camera setup on the back. This is going to be a very eclectic device, and it's going to come in multiple colors, hopefully. Uh, so this is going to be it's going to be something to be considered and compete with. Not everybody wants these big, large screen phones, uh, and I would rather have a small powerhouse like the Galaxy S7 was a powerhouse, and it's small, you know, with a 5.1 inch display. Phones like that are still wanted. So, you know, it's up to us to decide whether or not what, are we, what we're going to pay for. So as long as Nokia prices this right, I mean, they already have the 6 and the 5 and the 3 out there. And the 6, I've watched Donovan's reviews on it. Shout out to Donovan. I watched his reviews on it. You know, he's, you know, pretty decent phone. Pretty much is what I got from his experience. But I don't know how my experience would be. Uh, but the Nokia 8 is probably going to be a champ. I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, I'm still waiting to see if I want to pick up the Mi, uh, Xiaomi Mi 6, I believe it is. So I don't know if I want to pick that that device up yet, but we shall see. Next, the the uh, iPhone 8 supposedly has leaked out, uh, and some people are saying, "Oh no, that's just a dummy phone with a case on it." Who knows? It doesn't matter. We basically know what the iPhone 8 is going to look like, and we pretty much know what the the iPhone uh, the Note 8 and is going to look like. So this is all the the great eights. Uh, this is something that I think a lot of people are waiting on. They're waiting on the iPhone 8, if that's what it's going to be called. They're waiting on the Note 8. And I, for one, am waiting for both. I, I think I'm more excited about the iPhone 8 because they're, they're actually switching the design. Uh, and they're giving it a new look. Now, when I first heard about this last year, I was like, oh, that sucks. It's going to be horrible. We do this all the time. Until we get it in our own hands, we don't know what it's going to be like. So, especially with the Huawei 6, the, the uh, Nexus 6P, people thought that was hideous. I thought it was hideous. Once I got it in person, I was like, whoa, this thing is actually pretty nice. So, um, you know, I, I feel like the iPhone 8 is probably going to be a little bit more exciting for me this year. Um, you know, the, the iPhone is, is a phone that's much desired by people. Uh, and, you know, Android is still kind of the king, uh, but... It's like almost we're waiting for Apple to do something spectacular. I'm hoping that with this device, they bring us, they're obviously going to bring us some new hardware. The fingerprint reader might be in the in the power button. It's probably going to have an iris scanner. Uh, and they'll say it's magical. You know, even though there's tons of phones out there that have had facial recognition and, and eye scans <laughs> prior. But uh, maybe their implementation will be better than Samsung's. Who knows? Right now, Samsung's iris scanner is fast. I mean, I like it better than the actual... Um, fingerprint reader so you know that's a huge plus but um, what I will say is that I think I'm really be a little bit more excited about the uh, iPhone 8 right now at this moment uh, than the Galaxy Note 8 now that doesn't mean I'm not gonna get the Note 8 I've already got the bread stacked up for it you know I unfortunately I have to put aside like 1500 bucks for this phone because I don't know how much it's gonna cost but I do have about 15 1600 put aside for it just in case it costs that much and I do want to get black or blue uh, if they have some other unique color I'll run with that uh, but as far as the iPhone goes uh, that's gonna be one I'm not I didn't put any money aside for that I'm just gonna have to go and pay for it or just however I you know I'll figure something out but um, I really believe that the iPhone 8 for me is probably gonna be a little bit I'm getting I'm a little bit more excited about that you know uh, than the Note 8 because I already know what the Note 8 is gonna do we, we know what the software is gonna be like on both um, but you know the hardware game I'm actually kind of rooting for Apple to do something new man it's the, your hardware is stale your software is getting boring let's bring this man make it happen with the with the iPhone 8 if that's what it's going to be called so uh, and again I appreciate you guys coming by you know, one last thing I want to talk about is uh, the LG V30 now I talked about this prior to me going on vacation that phone is coming up I think the release for that or some kind of special announcement is on August 31st I don't remember what it is uh, but 
That's one that I'm actually kind of excited about uh, because I think it's going to be a competitor at the top of the list. You know it's probably going to be priced lower than both of the other phones I just talked about. Uh, but probably won't be priced lower than the Nokia 8, but still, it's going to be priced lower than the iPhone 8 more than likely and the Note 8. Um, but the V20 is, or the V30 is a, is a phone that you can't ignore it. You just can't ignore it. Uh, it it's going to have killer cameras. We know this. Uh, and it's going to be something that people flock to because there's going to be some promotions around it probably. I think the cameras probably might be able to compete or beat, you know, both the iPhone 8 and the Note 8. If, if LG keeps doing what they do with the G6 and the V20, those cameras are fantastic. So we shall see. It's your man, Jay Will. Got a lot of reviews coming up for you. So uh, you stay tuned for those, and I'll be sure to try to bring you as much news as possible. Join me for tomorrow's podcast um, uh, for Tuesday. And again, I haven't been doing anything because I was on vacation. Um, I don't post personal photos on stuff when I'm on vacation. I, just, I try not to do social media at all when I'm on, on vacation because that's my me time with family and myself. So uh, it's your man, Jay Will. Uh, I will see you guys uh, in the next video for smartphone news and just other videos. Join me for the rest of this week. I'm sure I'll have lots of videos going up, new product reviews and things like that. And join me tomorrow for Tuesday's podcast. It's your man, Jay Will. Take care.